what is going on everybody my name is nico and welcome back to another pokemon scarlet and violet vgc series 3 video today we are talking about the third of the ruinous legendaries we've already talked about chen pao we've already talked about chi yu we're talking about wo chien today and i think this is one of the best of the four i think this is up there it's number two for me it's number two in my opinion but i think this is easily one of the best so if this is your first time here on the channel make sure you are subscribed for more videos like this in the future but let's get into it whoa chien people whoa chien i think this pokemon is incredibly solid now it's typing sucks there's no way around that there's no way to defend it it's typing is not good but if you consider the fact that this pokemon gets pollen puff that alone is so good and tablets of ruin is a fantastic ability lowering the attack set of the opposing pokemon is incredibly good there's no way of denying that it's just super super solid so there are a handful of different move sets that you can actually use for this pokemon i think this is a pretty well-rounded pokemon all in all uh the first that i have here is leftovers because actually if you max out the uh hp stat it is a perfect uh stat for leftovers benefits it, it's perfect so it's a really solid leftovers user uh in terms of the terra i think that either poison um is poison's very good for it or um poison or fairy where's fairy at there it is poison or fairy is pretty solid for this pokemon you get rid of your fairy weakness you get rid of your fighting type weakness um it, it's just a very very solid typing for this particular pokemon so those are the two that i'd recommend using we have ruination and ruination is really good on this pokemon because this pokemon's not taking ko's right however you could use it kind of like a mouse hold with a super fang in the sense that you're knocking off half the target's current hp and allowing that pokemon to be more easily one shot by another pokemon right so you're basically like something very bulky like let's think about it like a tyranitar with assault vest you can knock it down to half health and make it that much easier for something to knock out which i think is a really really solid way to play this pokemon especially considering that if you do get to an end game and it's just this pokemon if you have leech seed up already with leftovers you can leech seed ruination that pokemon and stall out with protect and stall out and just drain that pokemon until there's nothing left of it and i think that's a really solid way to avoid getting uh just handled because again this is like a moongus in a sense where it's just kind of like a wall that sits there and does like supporting stuff and doesn't take ko's so having something with the ability to just kind of rock uh, a pokemon to half health and then just leech it down with leech sheet is incredibly good a lot of chip damage coming off there i think this pokemon is incredibly solid the second set is very similar but this pokemon also gets access to knockoff which i think is huge as well knockoff is a valid option for throwing a dark type move on this pokemon it does also get access to foul play which i think is really good for this pokemon as well but knockoff is really really solid for just getting rid of stupid items that you don't want to have to deal with it's just all around great a uh, great pickup for this pokemon pollen puff is really the bread and butter of this pokemon though like if it didn't have pollen puff i don't think it would be anywhere near as good as it is but pollen puff just does so much for it because you're lowering the attack stat of opposing pokemon with your ability and then you're able to allow your teammates to survive more hits than they normally would and just pollen puff them back to full health at the end of the turn it's crazy especially if you've already got some leech seeds down and you're getting health back over here you don't have to worry about this pokemon that much so you're able to just kind of use your pollen puffs to help the team out which is crazy strong the third set that i have for this is an av set because i think this is an option if you wanted to run an av set um there are some really good support tools that this pokemon gets that i think are just incredibly beneficial for an av user uh so uh i have less in the defense category because you're lowering the attacks so you don't have to worry about it quite as much uh and then a lot more in the special attack category so that way your snarls and your giga drains are doing a lot more damage um pollen puff obviously still here knockoffs here but like snarl is a really solid option for this pokemon uh, if you're running a more uh supporting set kind of does what you know arcanine would do uh so kind of nice in the same way that arcanine is just you're a grass dark type uh so i think this is just a really really well-rounded pokemon especially if you look at some of the other moves that it has available like body press is on this pokemon so if you wanted to run a little bit more defense that could be extremely beneficial foul plays on this pokemon there's a lot of options here that allow this pokemon to just kind of go in it does even get screen access i don't think it's the best screen user uh i think sableye and grimstarl are just going to be better in that regard because you're able to get them off more efficiently but i think that it is a interesting idea to get screens on wojian now in terms of partners for this pokemon i think like throwing it next to an arcanine is crazy like if you consider 
the fact that you're already lowering the attack stat and then throwing out an arcanine with intimidate it's absolutely nuts how much weaker you can make the opposing pokemon it's kind of nuts I, I i think it's a really solid duo uh for sure without a doubt in my mind just a really solid option for uh, a teammate for this Pokemon. But Wo Chien, I feel, can fit on a lot more teams than things like uh, Chi Yu and Chen Pao. I just don't think they fit on as many teams. They're very situational Pokemon where things like Wo Chien and Ting Lu can fit on a bunch of different teams because of their abilities. They control the pace of the battle a bit more than the other two, which I think is super important, especially if you're taking these Pokemon into like tournament settings. I think other Pokemon that just pair very nicely, like if you think about Fluttermane, Fluttermane's defense stat is absolutely atrocious. So if you are someone that's running a bit more in the defensive EV spread on your Fluttermane uh, to kind of capitalize on uh, Wo Chien's at, uh, Tablet to Ruin, that's a really solid way to like catch someone off guard and have a Fluttermane that could take a hit and be able to just keep dishing out damage. I think that's a really, really interesting way to play with this particular Pokemon and something that I think will start popping up. I think another just obvious Pokemon is Bundle. I think Bundle sits nice next to this because one, you can rotate Wo Chien into grass type attacks that would otherwise really hurt Bundle. But uh, I think it's a really nice option because you can kind of just like use Bundle as like, oh, this Pokemon's gonna do a lot of damage. You could protect Bundle, get some Leech Seeds down and start chipping away at the opposing Pokemon. And then even use Ruination to like get a Pokemon down to half health and kind of finish up with Bundle. There's just a ton of different ways that you can use uh, Wo Chien to benefit Bundle. But I, it's nice because you want to think about special attackers that can sit next to this because you don't want to be lowering the attack of your own Pokemon. That's the one thing you have to consider with a lot of these ruinous Pokemon is you don't want to be pairing them with Pokemon that are going to have negative effects from their uh, ability. And it's kind of tough. It's a, a lot of board control is going to be going on in this new series because of these abilities, but it's something that it, we're just going to have to adapt to uh, and really think about when we're going into team building. And I think that pairing Wo Chien specifically with special attackers is going to be very, very solid. Pokemon that deal with Wo Chien, uh, they, they deal with it very well. Bundle. Bundle just kind of rocks it. Uh, Bundle's very solid option. Fluttermane is another one again these two pokemon are just very good they're not going to stop being very good in series three um they handle wo Chien incredibly well so it's definitely something that you have to consider going into it um one thing with this pokemon is if you do run like the terra uh, poison option uh with the lowering of the attacks that there's not a lot of special attack round type users right so you put yourself in a really strong position against the opposition um you do have to be slightly concerned about you know like a psychic type but um because this does not play incredibly well into a dd armor rouge um either way you go like if you terra fairy you're still going to get hit really hard by uh psy spam um, and if you Terra into a poison type, Psy Spam just rocks you, right? So this Pokemon does have to be a touch careful around that. Like Armor Rouge is going to be something um, that can handle this very well. Psy Spam is going to be a big problem for this Pokemon. Oddly enough, opposing Wo Chien are actually very good into this Pokemon. Because if you think about it, if you've already burnt your Terra on another Pokemon, if you've already used your Terra and you can't Terra out of the Grass Dark typing, Pollen Puff goes crazy. Pollen Puff actually is a four times effective move into that and it is very, very powerful. Same could be said for Amoongus or Brute Bonnet. Uh, if those Pokemon pop up, Pollen Puff on either any of these Pokemon is going to deal with a Wo Chien very, very effectively. So that's something you really need to consider um, when you get into an end game scenario and you're just left with a Wo Chien. If you don't have your Terra, you're in a bad way against opposing Amoongus and Wo Chien's. Chen Pao is another Pokemon that is just going to deal with this incredibly well. Uh, the reason for that is you, one, have a type advantage over it, but your Sword of Ruin ability on Chen Pao just negates the attack stat drop, right? Everybody's back to normal standing grounds, and you're able to go in. And I think that's incredibly important to consider with this particular Pokemon, is that this is a direct counter and has a type advantage on the opposing Pokemon. So you can throw this out and then start running it with Dragonite and things like that. So I think this is something really, really important if you are using Wo Chen to be very careful when you see a Chen Pao on the opposing team because your ability isn't doing a whole lot for you anymore. But that is gonna be it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like I said, I think Wo Chen's one of the best of the Ruinous uh, four Pokemon. I think they're so powerful all of them but there are definitely two that shine brighter than the others and wochan is one of those two 
and I think it's a really solid Pokemon, has a lot of ability to just kind of be like, it reminds me a lot of Ferrothorn, honestly, where you just kind of go out, you set your Leech Seed, and you kind of stall out and just do a bunch of chip damage that way, and I think it's just a really solid option to fill that role since we don't have Ferrothorn in the current format, but that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you found it entertaining and helpful, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe for daily competitive Pokemon content from me in the future. If you want to join a really fun community, check out the Discord. People are always over there hanging out, playing Pokemon all the time. And if you want to see more from me, check out this video where I talk about Chi Yu and how to use that Pokemon in Series 3, as well as Chen Pao. Both of those Pokemon are already covered in videos. I highly recommend checking those out, but until next time, peace.